scene script. Ever wonder why cats always land on their feet? Well, it's not because they're part-time gymnasts. Yes, our furry friends are not moonlighting as trapeze artists, nor are they undercover Olympic gymnasts. They're just cats with a knack for defying gravity. Now, why is that, you might ask? Well, it all comes down to a little something called the writing reflex. When a cat is falling, this writing reflex kicks in, almost like a feline version of autopilot. Picture it like a cat's own built-in GPS, but instead of guiding them to the nearest fish market, it helps them land on their feet. This reflex begins to develop when kittens are just three weeks old and is fully honed by the time they reach seven weeks. So, how does this work? Well, a cat's body is a marvel of engineering. Their backbone is extraordinarily flexible, more like a bendy straw than a stiff rod. This flexibility, coupled with the lack of a collarbone, allows cats to twist their bodies in midair. Think of it this way, if cats were dancers, they'd be the break dancers of the animal kingdom. Twisting, turning and spinning with an ease and grace that would put even the best human b-boys to shame. But it's not just about the dance moves. Cats have an acute sense of balance thanks to their inner ear, which acts as a level, telling them which way is up. So, even in the most spectacular of falls, a cat can adjust its body to ensure it lands on its feet. Now, don't get any ideas about cats being invincible. They're not immune to injury. Remember, it's not the fall that hurts, but the sudden stop at the end. So while they might be the Houdinis of the pet world, they still need our care to keep them safe. So next time your cat does a mid-air spin, remember it's not auditioning for Cirque du Soleil. Who needs a night watchman when you've got a cat at home? This isn't just a passing remark, folks. Cats, as it turns out, are quite the nocturnal creatures. And no, I'm not talking about them being fond of late-night Netflix binges. You see, Cats are crepuscular, which is a fancy way of saying they're most active during the twilight hours of dawn and dusk. Yes, that's right. While you're tucking yourself into bed, your feline friend is just starting its night shift. Now imagine if a cat were a night owl. Not literally, of course. We're not talking about a bizarre feathered cat hybrid here, but rather picture your cat with the habits of an owl. It's amusing, isn't it? The whiskered face, the large round eyes perched on a tree branch hooting away into the night. But let's get back to reality. Cats, in their own way, are far better than any night owl. They're stealthy, agile, and have exceptional hearing. They could detect the faintest rustle of a leaf, the softest squeak of a mouse. And if anything were to go bump in the night, they'd be the first to know. So you might be thinking, great, my cat can hear well, but how does that make it a better security system? Well, let's just say that cats have a unique way of alerting their owners to danger. Whether it's through a sudden change in behavior, a frantic meow, or even a swift pounce onto your sleeping face, you can be sure that if something's amiss, your cat will let you know. And let's not forget their night vision. It's not quite X-ray vision, but cats can see clearly in nearly total darkness. So, while you're stumbling around in the dark, your cat is navigating the night like a pro. So if you're ever worried about nocturnal intruders, just remember, your cat's got you covered. Ever noticed those floppy bits on your cat's stomach? No, your cat hasn't been hitting the doughnuts. Those mysterious flaps are known as primordial pouches, and they're a perfectly normal part of your cat's anatomy. Every cat has them, from the sleek Siamese to the rotund British shorthair. They're not signs of obesity, nor are they evidence of your cat's secret midnight feasts. So, what's the deal with these pouches? Well, their purpose is twofold. First, they protect your cat's vital organs during those hair-raising feline fights. It's a bit like wearing a built-in body armor, but without the hassle of suiting up every morning. Second, they allow for extra flexibility. This extra skin helps your cat stretch and elongate during those insane furniture-defying leaps. It's the secret behind some of their most jaw-dropping acrobatics. Now, you might be wondering why some pouches are more noticeable than others. This is largely down to age and breed. Older cats or certain breeds like the Bengal or the Maine Coon may have more pronounced pouches. It's all perfectly natural, so no need for a kitty tummy tuck. And here's a fun fact. These pouches are not exclusive to domestic cats. Big cats have them too. Yes, even the majestic lion or the speedy cheetah sports a primordial pouch. It's a universal feline feature, a testament to their shared ancestry and survival tactics. 
So next time you see your cat's belly flap swinging as they trot around the house, don't be quick to judge. They're not lazy, gluttonous creatures with a penchant for treats. They're agile, well-equipped predators with a design that's been fine-tuned by evolution for optimum performance. It's time to put the myth of the overfed cat to rest. These pouches are not a sign of overindulgence, but a sign of a perfectly healthy, normal cat. They're not donut-induced flab, but a fascinating feature of feline design. So your feline friend hasn't been sneaking into the cookie jar, it's just evolution at work. You've heard the saying, cats have nine lives, right? Well, they're not just pulling your leg. This phrase, as ancient as the pyramids of Egypt, is a testament to the uncanny survival skills of our feline friends. Now let's take a whimsical journey into the origins of this phrase and the extraordinary resilience of cats. The saying is believed to have originated from ancient Egypt, where cats were revered and even worshipped for their mystical qualities. The number nine was considered sacred, symbolizing completion and perfection. So, when it came to their beloved cats, the Egyptians thought, why not give them nine perfect lives? And thus, the saying was born. But it's not just about ancient folklore and superstitions. There's a smidgen of scientific truth to it. Cats possess an extraordinary sense of balance and a unique skeletal structure, enabling them to survive, falls from great heights and land on their feet. It's almost as if they have an inbuilt parachute system. Now that's not an invitation to test your cat's aerodynamics, mind you. As we delve deeper into this feline phenomenon, one can't help but wonder, how many lives does your cat have left? Has it used up a life when it narrowly escaped that speeding bicycle? Or when it survived that jump from the towering bookshelf? Or perhaps when it ate that dodgy looking fish from the bin? Well, unless your cat starts coughing up life tokens, we'll never truly know. But let's be real for a moment. While we all love the idea of our cats having multiple lives, it's essential to remember that in reality they only have one. So, ensure they lead a safe and healthy life, filled with cuddles, toys and loads of catnip. So, the next time your cat does something death-defying, don't panic. It's probably got a few lives left up its paw. Ever been bitten by your cat out of the blue? Don't worry, it's not plotting your demise. You might have been enjoying a peaceful moment with your feline friend when suddenly, ouch, love bites are a common behavior among cats. But don't let the name fool you. It's not a romantic dinner for two. It's more like a feline version of a high five. Let's delve into the fascinating world of feline love bites. Cats communicate in a language all their own and we're just trying to keep up. Love bites are one of the many ways they express themselves. These gentle nips can be a sign of affection a request for attention, or a signal that they've had enough petting for one day. Imagine, if you will, you're a cat, a master of your domain, a king or queen of your castle, and there's this giant creature that's always petting you. It's nice and all, but sometimes enough is enough. A little nip is a polite way for a cat to say, all right, that's enough for now, thanks. Now, don't get the wrong idea. Your cat isn't turning into a vampire. These love bites are far from a bloodthirsty act. It's more like a playful tap, a gentle reminder that while they may tolerate your doting, they are, after all, still cats. Independent, strong, and ever so slightly aloof. These bites can also be an invitation to play. Cats are natural hunters, and play is an important part of their daily routine. So, if you're on the receiving end of a love bite, consider it a compliment. Your cat sees you as a worthy opponent in the game of cat and mouse. Or should we say, cat and human. But remember, while these love bites are generally harmless, it's essential to respect your cat's boundaries. If they're signalling they've had enough, it's best to give them some space. So, no need to start sleeping with one eye open. Those bites are just love nibbles. Scene script. Ever had a full-blown conversation with your cat? No, you're not going crazy. In the world of felines, communication is a multifaceted spectacle. Cats are known for their expressive eyes, twitching tails, and of course, their captivating meows. But what do these meows mean? Well, let's dive into the cat's meow, shall we? Imagine having a chat with your feline friend. You've just walked in from a long day, and your cat greets you with a soft, high-pitched meow. 
That's your cat's way of saying, hello human, you've been missed. But what about those midnight serenades that seem to echo through the halls of your home? That's not your cat auditioning for the feline version of The Voice. Rather, it's your cat's way of saying, hey, I'm bored, where's the entertainment? Then there's the classic long drawn out meow that sounds like your cat is rehearsing for a tragic opera. This is typically a plea for attention or perhaps a demand for dinner to be served promptly. Now, let's not forget the low pitched grumbly meow that sounds like a feline version of a grumpy old man. This usually signifies displeasure or annoyance. It's your cat's way of saying that new brand of cat food, not a fan. Or perhaps, why is the dog on my favorite spot on the couch? But what about the rapid-fire, machine-gun-style meow? That's your cat's version of a red alert. It usually means danger, intruder alert, or perhaps the vacuum cleaner is out. Every cat for himself. So, you see, cats don't just meow for the sake of meowing. Each meow is a word in the feline language, a language that we, as humans, are privileged to interpret and understand. And there you have it, a quick guide to decoding the cat's meow. It's a language of love, annoyance, desperation and sometimes sheer boredom. But one thing's for certain, it's never dull. So if your cat is more talkative than your best friend, don't fret. You've just got a very chatty companion. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into the truly unbelievable world of cat behaviour. So we've seen our feline friends perform gravity-defying leaps, watched them revel as nocturnal party animals, and pondered over the enigma of the cat belly flaps. We've marveled at their nine lives, chuckled at their love bites, and listened to their melodic meows. But hold on to your hats, dear listeners, because the cat's out of the bag and we're about to uncover some truly mind-boggling behaviours. Let's start with something you might have noticed if you've ever been privileged enough to share your home with a cat. Have you ever seen your cat bring you a gift? Yes, that's right, a gift. You know what we're talking about. The half-eaten mouse, the dead bird, the random leaf from the garden. It's not exactly what you had in mind when you were hoping for a surprise present, is it? But here's the thing. In the cat kingdom, this is the ultimate show of affection. Your cat is essentially saying, look human, I love you so much that I hunted this down just for you. It's like when your aunt Ethel knits you a hideous Christmas sweater. You don't really want it, but you appreciate the sentiment. So next time you receive a gift from your cat, remember it's a love token, even if it is a bit gruesome. Let's move on to another puzzling behavior. Have you ever caught your cat staring at you? It's almost like they're plotting world domination, isn't it? In reality, they're just trying to communicate. Cats don't have a wide range of facial expressions like us humans, so they use their eyes to express their feelings. A slow blink from a cat is the equivalent of a kiss. So, the next time your cat stares at you, don't be alarmed. They're just sending you some kitty love. Now here's a behavior that's truly puzzling. Have you ever seen your cat doing what appears to be kneading dough? This is actually a leftover behavior from their kittenhood. Kittens need their mother's belly to stimulate milk production, so when a grown cat is kneading, it's a sign that they're extremely content and comfortable. It's essentially their way of saying, I feel so safe and happy, I'm going back to my kitten days. And how about those moments when your cat suddenly bolts out of the room, running like a cheetah on the Serengeti? That's what we call the zoomies. It's a sudden burst of energy that cats get, usually after they've been sleeping for a while. It's like their version of a coffee break. A quick pick-me-up to recharge their batteries. Now this next behavior might have you questioning your cat's sanity. Have you ever seen your cat chasing its own tail? It's not because they've forgotten it's a part of their body. Cats are natural hunters and their tails move in a way that triggers their hunting instinct. So they're not crazy. They're just practicing their hunting skills on a very convenient target. And finally, let's talk about the infamous cat box fascination. Why do cats love boxes so much? Well, a box provides a cat with a safe, enclosed space where they can observe their surroundings without being seen. It's like their own personal surveillance van. Plus, it's warm, cozy, and the perfect spot for a cat nap. So, there you have it. The unbelievable world of cat behavior. From gifting you their catch of the day to running laps around the house at top speed, every action has a purpose. 
Each behavior is a window into their world, a glimpse into their feline minds. Understanding these behaviors not only helps us better care for our feline friends, but it also deepens our bond with them. Cats really are the masters of their own universe, aren't they? So, we've learned a lot about our feline friends today, haven't we? From their gravity-defying feats that would make an Olympic gymnast green with envy, to their nocturnal escapades, who knew our furry companions were such creatures of the night? We've delved into the mystery of the cat belly flaps, those adorable floppy bits that aren't just there for decoration. They're a testament to evolution, allowing our dear moggies to stretch and twist with the agility of a contortionist. Let's not forget the supernatural element, the myth of the nine lives. Cats seem to have an uncanny knack for survival that could give a cockroach a run for its money. And who could ignore those love bites? A little nip here, a gentle gnaw there. We're left in no doubt about who's boss. And then there's the cat's meow, a symphony of sounds that can range from a plaintive cry to a triumphant yowl. Each meow is a clue, a piece of the puzzle that makes up the complex creature we call a cat. But beyond these, we've seen a world of behaviors that boggle the mind. Cats doing backflips, playing fetch, even using the toilet. It's clear that our feline friends are more than just your average pet. They're enigmatic, they're quirky, they're... Well, they're the cat's pyjamas. As we wrap up, it's clear that cats are creatures of mystery and wonder. They're a conundrum wrapped in fur, a puzzle with paws. They may not always make sense to us, but that's part of their charm. So next time your cat does something bizarre, remember what we've learned today. Embrace the oddities, marvel at the quirks. After all, life with a cat is never boring. It's an adventure, a journey into the unknown. Remember, every cat is unique and has its own set of rules, so try to keep up and enjoy the ride.